Okay, we'll start with the Mustad C49S. This is actually a 12, not a 14, but I don't have a packet for a 12. Uh, on this, I have a 2.8mm tungsten slotted gold bead. This is the Holy Grail Caddis. We've got sheer 40 knot brown. So what we'll do is we'll just attach our tying thread behind the bead. Remove that. Go a little bit forward. Now it's important that we keep this bead about hook eye's length behind the hook eye. So we have a little technique for doing that. I've got some UTC Mirage tinsel, medium, opal. I've cut a little length of that, taking care that I've cut the end at a point. So what we do is we put this in the bead and we push it through like so. And then we'll just secure the tinsel at the rear of the bead and then we'll pull over that end keeping it away from the hook eye like so and then we'll go down the hook shank with the tinsel this will hold the bead in position, stop it sliding forward and we can trim off that short end and we can carry on with our tinsel down the body. And we'll go all the way down into the hook bend. There we are. And I'll turn my hook that way, my vice that way. Hang this tinsel out the way, spin my tying thread anti-clockwise to open it up and give it a flat profile so we can split the thread, needs a little bit of a more twist, there we go, so we just flatten that out, split it, then I've got a little homemade hersier dubbing. Now we don't want much here so we just put a little in but we want to increase ever so slightly as we approach the bead. So we just put that in, hold it in position there we go and then we can spin that up can thin it out once it starts to spin. So just pull off the thicker bunches like so and then we can come up here wind our way down to the tinsel and what we want to do is lift the tinsel and go a couple of times under this will stop it slipping off the body and we want to go up and stop a wee ways behind the bead so we have room for the thorax that's looking good and we'll take our tinsel and just move my tying thread out of the way and then we can go up over the body three or four turns oops I'll do that again like that and then up here that will do us good tie that off there 
Excellent. And we can trim off that. Like so. Give the body I like it real scruffy. That's good. And we come back here, go a little bit further forward, come back and have a bunch of pheasant tail fibres which we'll tie in. I'll just straighten those ends up which will tie in right behind the bead like so and we go back to that secure those a little bit more hairsier dubbing we don't need need a little bit more because the thorax should be a bit thicker so we'll just we don't need to spin this into a dubbing loop this will be very secure so we just put that on like that and catch that in tighten it up good and then we'll start at the rear so work our way into the bead Like that. and then we move our tying thread forward we want to flatten our pheasant tail turn it that way you can see that's good and then we'll just catch that in and bring it down right in front of the bead wind my thread up like that, that's good. We want to go back into the bead, lift up those ends. Trim them off, secure them, back up into the bead. Now, what I like to do with this now is I'll just pull out these fibres a wee bit there's a scruffy end there, I don't want that there we are that's excellent and I'll come on top with my UV resin and we just want to work a drop out over the wing case before we put the hackle on. That will do us nicely. There we are, that's good. And I'll just take my torch and cure that. And you can tie these in uh, whatever colour you like, really. That's good. Then I've prepared a little grey partridge hackle, which I've stripped off fibres from both sides, but leaving the, about a centimetre. Then we'll trim off that. A little short. We'll just tie this in. like so, pull those fibres back and go back, secure it correctly and I can go forward again, take my hackle plier and all I want is a nice wet fly hackle on this, so we just go once or twice round just take your time so you get it positioned correctly there we are now when I come round the bottom I can swap over 
bringing my tying thread around the back give it a couple of turns behind over the hackle stem and then a couple of turns in front to lock it off remove the hackle plier and what we'll do is we'll just put one whip finish in keep it in position and we can turn it this way we can come in with our scissors and very carefully remove that and then we can pull everything back work our thread building up a little head give it another whip finish remove our thread and there we have the holy grail caddis if you enjoy the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching